continuing with this CL100 restoration, I'm now down to the last few little bits and pieces to restore before I start building it up. I also need to make a, a plan for wiring it up, uh, at least getting some of the wires in first, uh, like a wiring loom before I start putting the components in it. It'd be easier to have the wires in place. But what I've got left now is a few capacitors. Um, I need to give some thought to some of them. But uh, I'll just move this down here, you'll see. Hopefully, right, this is C91. It's not quite like the other capacitors where that was one connection and then you had one at the end for one for the other connection. This is actually up two at one end. Uh, the casing is not actually literally connected to any of the capacitor internals. This C91 is the one that goes from the low frequency uh, part of the volume control, if you like, the low frequency gain control. And it, it's um, hard to see on here, but it's from the uh, low frequency gain control to to the valve there, to the one of the valves. This is point zero. This is the point one, and another one very similar. Not to get mixed up is actually point zero one. Again, this is I've already done this one. So that I need to do. These are the one UF capacitors. I did cut off the top of that, but it wasn't too successful cutting it off. I'm not sure what to do. I'm getting this stuff out the middle. Put the light on it. Uh, getting some uh, stuff out in the middle here is not doesn't really want to come out. It's just coming out in bits. So that's the two one UFs to do. Whether to just replace these all together or just reuse the cans, we'll see. Uh, have a think about that. I think I'm going to have to just unsolder the seam. Um, hot air flame on it. And split it open. Let's see. So I'll try that one and see how it works. The other one is this one, which is an add on. I've got a C107. I think it's hard to read on it now. I think that's point one as well. This is something to do with the RIS, the radar interference suppression. So that one I still have to do. Uh, not that I need that adaption on it. Now, there were two of these, I've done one, but this has only got one lug on. Unfortunately, that one snapped off. Um, you see the little bit of brass sticking out there. I've done one already. What I had to do is use a needle, needle file and file a, a gap around it, enough to get some solder on it, and then I soldered a piece of wire on it. These are part of the mains filtering as the mains comes in, these are on the input side. Now whether I go for this idea or I'd use a more modern inline filter with the, the kettle plug type. I think I showed you a little plug before but you can also get them with built in filters. So this is the point one, C91, quite sharp ends. It was originally Coloured red and black as if it was polarised, but I don't think it's polarised, not a point one. So, I'm going to try and cut the top off, do the same as the point one capacitors, the smaller ones. But we should. Quite almost. It's a bit uh, Right, uh, this has got tar in it as well. So it should come off. And I think if I remember it. Right, the 
I don't think the other one had tar in it. I don't remember the tar being in it. Just a matter of picking it all out. I'll try and put this with my finger. I don't want to prize it out because it, this is so soft, the aluminium. Just distorts. Try some hot air on it. Oops. Well, I'll continue with this and come back in a minute. It's starting to come out now. There's a fair bit of heat, all these bits of black on it. Suddenly it comes out. I've got wax in the bottom still to get out. Oh, I'm just getting the rest of it, the last of the bits out. I'm going to put ethanol in it now. That's most of the old plaster out. Yeah, this bit of plastic at the bottom came out <laughs> uh, a little insulator. Some form of plastic. Right, I've got some ethanol, I'm going to give that a clean up. That's it more or less clean. I've got most of the tar out. I think it's fairly clean in there. So that can wait on the side now to clean up the end connection. Two holes in it. I think I can safely clean that up. Well, here's the can all cleaned up. The, that's the inside of it, and that's been cleaned up as well. I mark this, but which way it goes uh, with the low edge. But the act of cutting it with the pipe cutter just distorted it a little. But I think that's the best fit, so I'm going to go on that that way there. So the capacitor I'm putting in is a point one. This is the point one capacitor. Um, very close fitting, so I'm going to use. I'm actually going to put the insulation back in the bottom, but I'm going to put some heat shrink on. So a bit like that, hopefully, I'll come up. I think I did on the other one, if I remember, I put a larger piece over the whole lot. So I'll see if I can get a larger piece of heat shrink. Uh, all different sizes, get the one you want. Go for a green one, plenty of them. That won't go over. Yeah, so.
Okay. Now I'll try and fit that in too. Okay. Pass it up. Right, there's the top. I'm going to attempt to solder this in. Quite large holes, really. I'm going to try and fill it with solder. They're a lot smaller on this one. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. We'll see. Heat on there. Yeah, because of these big holes here, I couldn't get it to solder properly. So what I had, I could try on this idea. I soldered two thick copper leads onto it. Let's see how that works. That sort of wedges in there. It's made it a bit thicker, so hopefully I should be able to hold this in place. It doesn't all fall apart. Yeah, that smoke's still the tarry wax that's on it. I think that'll work. Just need to add a bit more solder to it. I've added more solder to it, so it's sort of sealed. Not the most prettiest ones, as I must admit. But it's quite solid, so what I'm going to do as a precaution. Another piece of heat shrink just to cover the whole lot. And then put it in the can. Test it first. Fold it over. And it should sit in there nicely. Okay, test it first. Point one. You have to hold it in there. So I'm going to in this range. That's reading 102, which is. Point one zero two. My fingers off it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not too bad. All that remains now is to glue it in. Right, I'll leave that there for the glue to set. Okay, I'll see you move it out of the way. And I'll test it again at the end of it. So that's it really. A bit messy. Because of the tar. These have very small uh, eyelets. That one there. Because of the large holes there. And then uh, I filled it with the copper. We'll see how that works. When the blue sets. Next one to do is this, which I shall do later on. I'm going to use a ne needle file. And start to file away. A bit monotonous, a bit laborious, but shouldn't take too long. Just to I'll try soldering onto there directly, but it's just not enough to for the solder to take, so if I can bite just on the side of that file into the capacitor. That's the next job. So, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.